Morning guys. Um, I'm up early this morning. Nice, sunny, glorious day again. Um, <clears throat> I'm up early today because I'm going to pick something up for the van. Well, a few things actually. Um, from where my neighbour works is a motorhome place. So we ordered some things from him, or not from him, but from the company he works for. And uh, today I'm going to get quite a vital piece of equipment for the van build. So I'm very excited about that. So I've got up early and uh, go and pick that up. It's lovely, isn't it? Skies are blue, birds are out singing, and uh, I'm about to go and pick up a nice piece of hardware. So I'll see you in a bit. Thought we'd bring you down here, so I'm about to go and get this hardware, but this is somewhere I love coming sometimes in the morning. It's this little bit of river. Um, and normally sometimes in the morning there's some, I think they're beavers going here, but what I'll do is today, I'll take you on the ride to where I've been going sometimes over the last few months um, to see uh, the route I take is very pretty and keep an eye out for the beautiful French chateau that I have to pass almost on a daily basis but it's fantastic so come along for the ride excursion to the shop and uh, as you can see over my shoulder there's the goods um, for the van the hardware now actually when we just arrived back just then there was a delivery so when we went to the shop to get the bits um, they were stuff we can go and pick up from the shop but what then arrived which is a real extra treat is um, this which I'm assuming 
well, I'm not assuming, it says it on the side of the box. That's the fridge. And I'll show you guys shortly what this stuff is here as well, which we just picked up from the shop. So uh, what I'll do is I'll get it over to the van and then uh, I'll do a little unboxing. What do you think about that? So now I'm gonna film a very brief unboxing now of all the goodies and uh, my niece is going to help. Well, you can cover your face, it makes no difference. It does. Well, anyway, so that's what we're gonna do. So in fact, I need to get a knife, so. So I'm now gonna unbox some of this stuff. What I'll do is I'll do it here. So I'll pull this stuff over right there. Do the fridge first, because this was meant to have been checked um, on delivery. The, the guy just was in a ma major rush. But it's a good standing knife, isn't it? That's kind of the point of a knife, isn't it? Yeah, and this doesn't perceive anything. So, try and open it as neatly as possible, just in case it needs to go back. But uh, this is an extra treat today, the fact that this arrived. Okay, so far, but it's covered in plastic. So. Mm. Really you know need help? Grab it from. I can get it out if someone breaks it or something. Are you sure you don't need help? Oh. Have a look at this. I'm there struggling to get it out. All I have to do is lift the bloody box up. <laughs> Not very good at the unboxings. So. Here's the fridge. I'll get it round. Nice and clean and pretty. There's one fridge, thematic. I think it's 65 litres, I'm not too sure. And uh, yeah, I think you have to get that bike. Welcome to the fridge. Yeah, there's some other bits and bobs in there. Not quite sure what they are. Okay, 
goes in somehow like that. Obviously there's a drawer there. Just a little manual. So, I won't read that obviously. <laughs> Men never do. And then the freezer. And over this side, there's uh, some sort of little display there as well. Obviously with the temperature and things like that. So that's all looking good so far. I don't really know if there's any problems with it until we get it all fired up. I'm assuming that, well, oh yeah, it's covered up here. I'm assuming that plastic covering needs to come off. So yeah, one uh, fridge, which is looking good. Let's take this quickly. Just while I... Um, Lift it so that it doesn't scratch. Yeah. It's got quite a nice locking mechanism on it as well. Yeah. See, so yeah, it doesn't look like it's uh, damaged in any way, but as I say, um, you don't really know until you get it started. But yeah, that's it. One nice brand new 12 volt fridge. And now we'll get onto the other stuff. Now this should be fuse boxes for electrics. So it's a kit. My neighbour has been helping me out with the build, he's recommended this, so that's a kit. Of all sorts of wiring, I don't know what that's for. Other wiring. This here is the thing that measures the level of water, I think. Mm. In the, I think this is the waste water. So that's what that will be. And then in here should be. Spare fuses and things in there. And then this should be, yeah, what this is, I won't unwrap it all, but this here is the panel which displays all the water, lights, um, and everything like that. In fact, I will get it out so that you can see. Yeah, so there's a panel for batteries, water, lights. I don't know what that is, maybe outside water, but I'll, uh... yeah, so that will all be going in as well. And cut, and action. This is interesting, but it's not really that interesting. There's something else that was ordered. So this is a, a pipe, that's Robasto, um, but it's a pipe that goes in to the fuel tank which is under the van for the heater um, which has been put in. So it's under the van so it's going to get tapped into um, things. So when I fill up diesel here, it will... Um, it will just fill up the diesel heater as well, which is obviously underneath the van at the moment. So there's that as well. Had to wait six weeks for that. Just for that? Yeah. very special. I've been Drum told rolls. this is pretty new to the market this. So 
I don't know what that is. That looks like some sort of a fuel outlet or exhaust. It's a bit like what you get on the Chinese diesel vehicle. And then, various other things. There's a manual and instructions there. Comes in quite a nice folder. And various clips, things for water or gas. There's something in that pouch, I'll have a look at that later. And then this bit here, which is a vital part of any van build. This is the water heater. So it will heat all the water in the van. So for the shower, um, for the sink, for the sink in the bathroom. New to the market this is, and it wasn't cheap. It was very expensive. Um, but the beauty of this is it doesn't sit in the van. This will sit underneath the van, like that. Um, and it will actually sit over this side. So over here obviously is Directly under this window here is where the, the bathroom is going to be. So this is going to have to sit somewhere under the van, probably around here. And it should go up and disappear out of sight and it will all be fixed up. But then it's out of sight. So it sits there really quite nicely. But that will be filmed as well, it all going in. So this is a whale 12 volt gas water heater. And as I say, it was not cheap. Um, maybe overpriced, but that's what I wanted to get to try and complete the build as best as I can so yeah that's all my goodies today that I'm really happy with this is a bonus so yeah and in the next few weeks or a few days or whenever it is I'll film that all going in and uh, hopefully you'll tune in then and if you hadn't subscribed, subscribe again. Um, but cheers for watching. Thanks for filming, Charnel. And uh, yeah, see you again, guys. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye.